What's up guys, Chris from the Hot Pole Studios bringing you this week's guitar and tech news. Let's get started. Dino Cazares, the guitarist from the band Fear Factory, has announced in an interview with Ishibashi Music that he's in talks with Ibanez in regards to a budget range model of the DCM100 model, most likely called the DCM10. What we can expect from this range? Get rid of the low pro edge free bridge, a simpler neck, but still keeping that Seymour Duncan Retribution pickup. And it looks like we're going to be seeing a new model from Dingwall in the future. Sheldon Dingwall shared a photo of him in the factory producing a Nolly NG2 six string bass. Prior to this, Nolly was using an ABZ six string bass, but we'll probably be seeing this range in the near future. Seymour Duncan have announced their new duality pickup. It's active, but not as we know it. According to Seymour Duncan themselves, putting more emphasis on the pickup coils and the magnet rather than traditional actives, while still offering the low noise, high headroom and signal strength. Maybe this is the dawn of a new age for active pickups. Do you suck at harmonies or need a partner or have no social skills? Well, it looks like Google have you covered with a new Google AI. So what is Google AI? Well, it looks like it's a piano software that when you play, the AI will then come up with a melody or another rhythm pattern to go along with you. Pair this up with a gen generator, you won't have to write music again. So it looks like Agile and Bare Knuckle pickups are going to be working together in their semi-custom order range. This is currently limited to only the Aftermath pickups, but we wouldn't mind betting that they'll probably be including more in the range if this proves to be popular. Kazuo, creators of Firm Ionic, have released their complete collection, including new amps that should appeal to the metal crowd. On the bass side, there are now the Sans Amp Bassler Driver and Ampeg SVT models. And for guitarists, there's now a Tube Screamer, Clon Center, and a Diesel VH4, which I'm looking forward to, in both blue and silver face versions. Much metal to be made with this and will most likely be releasing a video very soon. And finally, Nokia have released information that we're all going back to the 90s. Their 3310 model is due to have a relaunch sometime this year. No specification has been given yet, but we're looking at about a £50 price tag. This could be a great way to get your drummer to concentrate on playing rather than his Instagram account. So there you have it for this week's guitar and tech news. Hope you don't mind me taking over the show. Please like if you actually like me presenting this show. Please share if you found this useful for one of your friends. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this, as well as tutorials and everything else we do. I've been Chris Taylor, and I'll see you next time.